Hi everybody, it's me Tina and today what I want to do is give you a brief summary of your icons on the top of your row and the four icons that are in your tools. Okay, also something new that they've added if you are using a mouse. All right, so let's get going. The first one we come to is add to pad. Now on the old Panavision, when you clicked on it, it brought up a pattern pad to your side screen. All right, so this is having some issues. I've already spoken with the Nova, um, and they will let us know what they're going to do with this, either keep it or delete it. But you have a pattern pad right here, and you also have a pattern pad in your library. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off of my favorites. Okay, next you have undo, redo, and delete. Okay, so let's say that we are trying out patterns and we want to see which best ones work together, okay? Um, and I have this kind of sort of design right here, but I'm not really crazy about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo. And for however many times you hit undo, it will take away all your patterns. But now I'm deciding, you know what, let me see those again. So I'm going to hit redo and it's going to bring it back up again. Okay, so now let's say that I have this pattern and I wasn't really sure about it. I don't even want it on my screen. I can go ahead and hit delete and it's gone. But if you're still undecided, don't forget you can hit redo and it'll bring it right back again. All right. So next, we have our copy button, okay? Right here, I want to copy this one. I've clicked on it. It's green. I can go ahead and hit copy, and I've got another one in there, okay? Pretty simple. Here we have our zoom out and our zoom in. If I click on the zoom out, it's going to make things smaller. If I click on the zoom in, I can go ahead and zoom in on the design just like that. All right. Next, we have full screen. You hit full screen, you're going to get your full grid in there and all your pattern and designs. Here we have actual size. Now, I probably won't use this, but you never know. Um, when you do hit full size, it's going to give you the actual size of your grid okay so um, you know who knows you may use it at some point all right well, let's go ahead and do full view here we have active zoom all right it has a red square around it so when you click it you're gonna get a little magnifying glass okay and then you just use your mouse and you can go ahead and click on it and bring up your quilt in your design, make sure that you do turn off active. Okay. And then it will have a red square around it again. All right. So I'm going to hit full view. This is your pan. It also has a red square. When you click on it, obviously the square goes away, but this is so that you can move your grid. If your grid is halfway off the screen, you can bring it back on. All right. Remember to turn that one off, and then you have your red square. Next, we have our reposition sew head, okay? So, as you can see, my sew head is down here. I will go ahead and move it. You just click it, and then line up your sew head to where you need to start quilting at, okay? I can click it here, align to quilt. There you go. All right, so our next icon is the pattern crosshairs, okay? If you have your whole pattern filled up and it's highlighted in green, when you press on this, it will give you a red line, dotted red line, through the center of the width and the center of the height. On here, I have, we're gonna make this bigger, there we go. If I go ahead and hit this, it's going to give me the center. All right, proportion it out just like that. Take it away, you hit it again, okay? Now, 
I want to do this icon is more repeats. If I go ahead and hit it, I'm going to get more repeats. Next one is less repeats. Go ahead and it will take it away. When you do the more repeats, it will connect your design for you where you will not have the boxes in the middle. All right. Now we have mirror. When you mirror something, it's going to turn it over so that the top is now on the bottom. Okay. That is mirror. And then we have flip. Okay. And you really can't tell with this design. Let's try, we use this design right here. I'm going to go ahead and flip it. And as you can see now, this tail is out this way. Okay. So we'll flip that back and we will flip that one back. Now, reverse sew, that is the icon right here. Your, when you're in running view, your popcorn will always start at the green dot, all right? But let's say that you're starting from the right-hand side. You want your green dot to the right-hand side. Go ahead and hit reverse sew. Whoops, let me mark it. Hit reverse sew, and it will change. All right, so now you can start sewing on this side. All right, so next we have our running view. Make sure that you have aligned your quilt to the start of your pattern before you hit running view. Otherwise, there's a good chance that it won't match up when you hit running view. Then you can go ahead and you can hit running view. See, I lost mine. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit pause, and then I'm going to hit done. It's going to bring me back to here, okay? And I didn't click on this, so we're going to go ahead and click on this, and I will go ahead and hit running view and restart, and now I'm pretty much lined up right here, okay? little blooper there. All right. Next, we're going to go into our tools, okay? The first tool we have is group, all right? So we're going to click on that, close our box right there. Now, if I have, let's go ahead and we're going to use this one. Let's move this one up here. All right. You have group, attach, link, and ungroup. If I bring this one over here, I'm going to hit, let's, I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to hit group and click on these. Now they are grouped together. Okay. Just like that. If I hit accept, click on it, I can go ahead and move it around. Another cool thing on this is let's say I don't want these boxes here. All right. So I've clicked on this. I need to ungroup it first, just like that, okay? Ungroup, and now I can move my boxes. Let's line them up again, and this time I'm going to hit attach, all right? Just like that and I've lost the boxes, okay? Now you have link. I'm gonna hit cancel. It's gonna bring it back to there. I'm gonna go ahead, I will click on that, and I will hit link, click on this one, and it takes away the boxes. It gives you a little bit of space though, as you can see right here, okay, in your design. And you can play around with that to see how it works. All right, so I'm going to hit cancel. We are going to go into our next one, which is multiply. Now, this gives you a lot of different things that you can do. Let's take this one right here. You can do more or less repeats, which is up here also okay let's say I want to do more repeats just like that I want to do less repeats 
and you can adjust it for however you want, okay, all the way through. Just make sure that when you're finished, you hit apply, okay? Let's go into our next tool. This is our grab tool, and we didn't have this on the last one, and I actually think this is really cool. All right, so I have here, um, you either have your mouse or your sew head. I have chosen my mouse, and my grab method is to the top right. Okay, so when I click on something, I can move it at the top right, okay? Let's say that you wanna move it from the bottom left. All right, just click on it, and then you can go ahead and move it from the bottom left. So that's pretty cool. You get to choose where you grab your design from, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and move mine back to top right. All right, so I thought that was really nice that they put that in there. So the last one that we're gonna to go to is Rubber Band Man. Okay, now this one, when you come into Rubber Band Man, if you click on your design, this is where you're going to get your boxes, okay? You can turn your design over, flip it upside down. You can make your design bigger, wider, taller. And if you watch right here, you can see all the numbers moving, okay? So I thought this was really cool that they put this in here, okay? I really like it. And it's much easier versus typing in a bunch of numbers, okay? Um, you also have nudge, so you can nudge it up and down, your design up and down. I don't know if you can see that moving or not, but it actually is moving. Um, nudge it to the left, just like that. So that's pretty cool. And then you also have your flip and your reverse sew on here, okay? Now, the cool thing I wanted to show you was your mouse, okay? Right click on your mouse. When you have a pattern selected, all right, let me go, I'm gonna go ahead and do full screen to move everything over. I have this selected. <clears throat> I can go ahead and right click on my mouse and look what it does. I can bring out group, okay? If I click on group, there's the linked, ungroup, delete pattern, ungroup. I can come down here and I can do copy, delete, undo, redo, more, re more repeat, mirror, flip, everything that's up on the top, okay? Can't reposition your sew head though. All right, so that's pretty cool. And that is all with the right click of the mouse, all right? So I think that's really cool that they put that in there um, let's say I go, if I click this and do a right click, I can go ahead and copy. Now I have two, just like that. If I don't want that, I can right click and there's delete. I can hit delete. Is that not awesome? That is all with the right click of your mouse, okay? So I do advise that you do get a mouse because you'll be able to use the right click on there. Also, remember, practice, practice, practice your Panavision, okay? That is gonna get you into the system to play with everything this new system has to offer, okay? All right, that's it for today. If you could like or comment, I greatly appreciate the feedback. And remember, I hope you have a great day quilting. Bye.